In this video, we're gonna continue working on our special game. Basically, we'll add animations so that we can bring our character to life. And without any further ado, let's dive right into it. We can move the ball using the AWST keys. But there is no animation and the game looks boring. I will use the animator component of this robot sphere. For now, we didn't have a controller to set the animations. We can right click, create, animator controller and let's call it animator then we have to apply it to our 3d model robot sphere by dragging the animator under the controller field and let's double click on it to open it up for now it is empty there is no animations let's go under the robot sphere assets and we want to go to the animations for example let's take a look at this idle loop animation you have to select the animation section and hit play let's use it as the default one by dragging the animation to the animator component which is going to set it as a default animation and there you go we have our ball idle by default now we have to switch between idle and walk when I'm moving and the way we do that is by adding another animation and add some kind of transitions between these today I want to use something unique that comes with the animator feature which is called the blend tree that will blend between the animations so instead of using this directly we can right click create state then we have from new blend tree option if you open it up by double clicking on it we can add different animations then we can blend between them using this parameter for now it is called blend that we can adjust from the code don't worry i'm going to explain this step by step under the inspector we can add different motions or animations using the plus icon and add motion field you could also add another blend tree and then we can add a second one because we have idle and walk when we are moving you could pick up an animation using this dot or we can simply drag it from the assets so we have the idle one let's drag it like this and the second motion is the walk animation which is this one let's select the blend tree again and drag the walk loop animation under this motion and let's hit play now we can smoothly switch between these animations by changing this blend parameter so if it's zero it is idle and as we increase it it will switch to the walk animation we're going to adjust this from the code for now it is called blend but let's rename it to speed first we have to add a reference to the animator component using private animator under the start function i'm gonna set it using get component but this is going to check for the animator component that is attached to the player holder that has the script robot controller we need to get this component from the robot sphere which is a child of the player holder so instead of using get component we can use the get component in children and it will take the animator component next we can access the speed parameter using animator dot set float this takes a string which is the name in our case it is called speed you could simply use input.move then we can access the magnitude of the vector which will take the length so if we are moving it's going to be one otherwise it's going to be zero and that's what we want before we test it make sure to change the blend parameter to speed under the parameters tab and there you go the robot is idle by default and when we start walking using the w key as you can see he switches to the walk animation and it is smooth because we are using the blend tree for now we are not rotating the ball towards the direction where we are moving basically we have to do a little bit of math we need to convert the move vector that has the x y values which is this vector and get the angle between the forward vector which is the z axis and the move vector so that we can rotate the player towards this direction and to get this angle from the x and the y values you have two options we can use some built-in functions that takes in the move vector and change it to an angle or quaternion and the second option is by using some trigonometry functions because the tangent of this angle equals the opposite over the adjacent in this case the opposite of this angle is this value which is the x 
over the y which is the adjacent and then we can get the angle for me i will go with the first option because it's easier for me we can use a built-in function which is quaternion dot look rotation which takes the target direction and it will convert it to an angle so let's pass it in then i can use transform dot rotation equals this quaternion and let's hit save again and there you go we can move the ball also we can rotate the player towards the direction where we are moving but it's not smooth at all because it snaps directly to the new rotation and to apply a little bit of smoothness instead of assigning this rotation directly to the player we can use quaternion dot slurp and that takes the current rotation using transform dot rotation and the second parameter is the target rotation which is this quaternion I'm gonna assign it to another object of type quaternion and let's call it target rotation and we can pass it in as the second parameter and the last parameter is a float which is like the smooth speed I will use 20 times the time to delta time to make it frame rate independent you could also add a variable for this value to adjust the smoothness but this line of code is just creating the quaternion that will smooth the rotation we have to assign it to the player using transform dot rotation equals this quaternion dot slurp and let's try it again and there you go we can move the ball using the awsd keys the rotation is smoother than before the only problem is that whenever I release the keys he's facing forward all the time and that's because we are changing the rotation of the player all the time we need to make sure to add this line of code only when we are moving so I will just cut it and then we can check if input dot move is not equal to vector2 dot zero which means we are moving the player in such case we have to change the rotation otherwise we don't want that and there you go now we have a simple character controller I can move it using the AWST keys you could also change the speed and the smoothness of the rotation if you want in the next video we are going to work on the camera movement so that we can look around and uh, rotate the camera I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write that under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one